Hey, I'm Ruby Lopez for Creek Currents. Today I'm here at the Clark Memorial Swim Center visiting the Walnut Creek Aquanuts, the synchronized swim team that continues to make a splash internationally. I'm here with Kim Probst, the head coach for the Walnut Creek Aquanuts. Now, this program has been in existence for quite some time, so talk to us about it. Um, the club was formed in 1968, and since then it has been built up into the powerhouse of synchronized swimming in the United States. We've trained over 30 Olympians, um, eight Olympic champions, and we start the kids right here from age five to six and train all the way until whatever their dream may be. Okay, very impressive. Nationally and internationally recognized, lots of gold medals as well, right? Okay, for those of them at home, they're thinking synchronized swimming. Is that just swimming together? It requires a lot of athletic ability. Can you tell us what it is? Yeah, it's a sport that combines um, speed swimming, gymnastics, dance, kind of anything physical you can imagine, um, contortion, acrobatics, and it's all done in the pool while treading water. We never touch the bottom. Um, have to hold their breath for a really long time. Um, the sport became an Olympic sport in 1984 and it just keeps evolving every single year, getting more and more physical, um, more and more daring, things like that. That's pretty impressive. I saw some of the videos. Now, you weren't kidding. It's like, oh, you're good at a sport. Well, now be good at every sport and then do it in the water, pretty much. Okay, well, cool. Talk to us about um, some of the programs that you have here at Walnut Creek, specifically. Um, so we run an age group program up to an elite program, but for kids that are just looking to start, we run um, five to six week programs all summer long, and it kind of culminates with our huge swim show here at the end of the summer. We have a big stage that you can see in the background and lights, and the whole club performs, so we've got up to 130 girls in the water at one time. Um, and then we want run one more session right after the show in case some kids see synchro in the show and then they yeah. want to try it after. Speaking of shows, you guys actually were on a national show, America's Got Talent. How was that experience? Um, that was just crazy. It was just such an honor to work with the whole creative team that they've got there um, and incorporate their ideas with the sport that we know and love for our normal competitive setting. Mm -hmm. So it was just really an honor to be on national television and just mm -hmm. give the sport quite a boost. Yeah, absolutely. So what was the difference, you know, doing your show here and then going on national television and, and doing it for those famous judges? Um, doing it live is quite an experience. It's really thrilling. And um, it's just one of those things where, you know, anything goes, you just kind of have to go with it mm -hmm. and um, just be really prepared. Okay. Now you may notice in some of the videos, they're actually wearing like stilettos. They're probably like this big. They're like pumps. And I think like I remember Howie Mandel saying like, oh, it's probably easier to swim in them than it is to walk. And I was thinking like, no, probably not. No, it's actually pretty dangerous. They're always kicking each other and coming up with these pretty big wounds actually. But they're pretty tough and, um, you know, it just adds that kind of sexy flair and just yeah. makes it all that more difficult. Now this is a lot of preparation and partnerships. How do you guys make it all run? Well, yeah, it's a big collaboration between the athletes, their parents, and the coaches. Mm -hmm. um, the coaches, we have over 20 coaches on our staff, mm -hmm. and they're all expected to um, put forth the best program they can for their individual team. Mm -hmm. And then the parents are required to um, do hours and hours and hours of volunteer work at every single event we put on, as well as um, work bingo one to four times um, a month in order to fundraise for the club. I'm here chatting with teammate now, Jillian Brassel. What's it like to be a part of the Aquanuts? Um, the Aquanuts is not just a synchronized swimming program, it's a family almost. Um, you, you come here and you see all of your family members almost. Since you're here all the time, you're always swimming, you get used to being around your teammates so much that they just become a part of your family more than your family at home. Mm -hmm. Now, it requires some incredible athletic ability. Did you have to train in other things as well in order to do synchronized swimming, like gymnastics or something? Yes. Before I started synchronized swimming, I was a gymnast for 
nearly eight years and I danced ballet for almost the same amount of time mm -hmm. before I switched over and started swimming. Well, you may notice there's something giant behind us. We're actually standing on the stage now for a show that you guys are preparing for, right? Yes. So talk to, about, talk to us about the upcoming show. Well, the show is our big fundraiser. It's where everyone comes and gets to see what we have been working on all year. Um, we prepare this show actually just two months beforehand, but we use all our skills from the year beforehand. Mm -hmm. And it's a giant showcase where we have lots of lights, lots of glitter, and a big stage, which is in construction right now, to really back us up in us. I'm here with Joanna Langner, another Aquanut, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're really going to help me out because I want some more information from you. I know you guys train for eight hours. I know it's a lot of work. First off, how did you get involved? How did you get started? I had a family friend that did it, and then I came here and did the trainee program, which they do during the summer. And like, I was immediately hooked. It was so much fun, and everyone here just really makes you feel like you're a part of the team. Okay, aside from being very athletic, you also have to hold your breath very long, mm -hmm. right? How yeah. did you learn to do that? We do a lot of training when we do laps. We train and we go underwater and just kind of push your limit until you learn to adapt to every part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What other kind of tips can you give me? Because I'm going in there with you guys a little bit later and I have no idea what I'm doing. Just pay attention to what you're doing. Um, don't be afraid to try anything and make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing with both your arms and your legs because both of those are really going to help you when you're trying out the new moves. And besides, I don't want to like kick yeah or like just be aware of the people around you okay and you guys trust me to be in the water with you absolutely do you have any idea what I'm gonna be trying today um I don't know but probably some of the basic stuff that people learn when they're young so All right. I think I can handle that <laughs> should we go give it a try absolutely right. hey girls I'm here for my big shot I guess I get to be an awesome for a day <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I have some uh, I guess this is cool stuff you guys are gonna show me right yeah, yeah. so what do I need to learn <laughs> well, I had a great time here visiting the Aquanuts. If you'd like some more information on how you can watch their amazing shows, just visit their website at aquanuts.org.